All right, everyone, today is September 15th. So it has been, as of today, exactly one year when we started this trip. One whole year. One whole year. Last year, uh, September 14th was the last night in our house. And uh, we woke up that morning. Oh, one year. Yeah, we woke up that morning, uh, signed all the documentation. My house. House was all, uh, gone, not ours anymore. And we spent our first night in a hotel uh, in Allen, Texas. It was a La Quinta. It's a crappy, crappy hotel. Needless to say, yes, what she's saying is right. It was crappy, but we'll talk about that later. <laughs> Anyway, so we just thought we would take uh, some time and have a, a retrospective, if you will, on what life has been like living on the road <laughs> for one full year. Now, we sold the house, uh, it was worth a lot of money. And, uh, you know, after the lockdown, you know, we had been, I was a bartender and she was a server. And, uh, <laughs> you know, we took all that time off. Not by choice, by necessity. Right. Well, we took all that, you know, we had all that time off because of the lockdown. And once the lockdown ended and we went back to work, it was just... God, it was even just more it. difficult to do it. After all that time off, I think we had off for like, what, nine months or something? Something like that. It was really hard to go back to those stupid restaurant jobs. And you had all those new stupid, like, uh, all these extra duties we had to do to keep clean for COVID, you know, because of COVID. So right. it was even more work for... No money. <laughs> well, like a lot of people, we just didn't want to do it anymore. So we thought, well, let's sell the house because at that time, house prices had skyrocketed, and our house is worth a lot in of money. In our area, yeah, in our area. So we thought, okay, we're going to sell the house. We'll take a hundred thousand, uh, travel for a year, do YouTube videos, and uh, if it succeeds, cool. If it doesn't, we got to travel for a year. Yeah. We put a couple hundred thousand away, and then set another I think it was 40,000 for us to in a year you know have money to get an apartment and you know or a house or whatever and find jobs so that's what we did so we gave ourselves a year and uh, what we traveled and traveled and we went to city after city uh, the Hawaii, you, Hawaii, made, you made video after video made video after video uh, you know we kind of focused on downtown because uh, I my for me I wanted people to watch my videos and say, hey, if I was to go to downtown Atlanta, for instance, uh, would I have fun there? It's kind of the idea. And just explore and see the architecture, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So that's kind of the idea behind this channel. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, evolved a lot, of it, though. Yeah, so we did it. And for nine months, we made about $5 a day. <laughs> yeah. It didn't matter how many videos we put up. It yeah. just never went up. And we would get... It was sad. <laughs> yeah, we'd get like 10 subscribers, new subscribers a month. And, it was uh, sad. <laughs> so, I think... We thought for certain, we thought for certain pretty soon we were going back and, you know, we're going back to regular life. Yeah. Uh, nine and a half months later, uh, we're getting towards the end of the year. The money's starting to get low. So, we were driving away from Dallas to Denver. And, uh, you know, that was going to be our last trip. We were like, well, we're going to do this one more trip, and then we're going to try to go ho to Hawaii and uh, Alaska real quick. But when we get back from this trip, this month-long trip up to uh, Denver and, you know, areas we went around up there, that's it. We're done. It was sad. But something happened. The channel <laughs> exploded. <laughs> but some somewhere between Denver and uh, I think we, where did we go? We came back down around uh, Omaha. And... Uh, it went from making five dollars a day to a lot more. I mean, a lot more. And we went from getting about seven hundred views a day to twenty or thirty thousand a day. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, and just all of a sudden, it wasn't gradual. It was just all of a sudden. Yeah, so. it just exploded. And when we got back at the end of June, back here to Dallas, it was a whole new story. We had made enough money <laughs> that month to give us another two months. So we're like, all right, cool. So we just kept doing it. And, uh, you know, it's getting better and better. It's just growing faster and faster. And so we're going to be doing this for a while. Yes. We could be doing this for years because we still love it and we're not even tired of it. No. And because you guys watch it and that's great. And we thank you for that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now we're going to answer a few questions that people have commented, you know, with. And one of them being, why did you get a Bronco and stay in hotels? Why didn't you get like a camper van or something? Well, we looked into that. Uh, 
we priced the camper vans. Uh, they were expensive. They were high, high, or, uh, they terrible gas mileage. Yeah. Uh, you know, some of the ones we looked at got eight, nine miles to the gallon. Uh, I, you know, took some time and I looked up um, RV parks across the country, and there's just not that many, especially to some of the places that we want to go to. And you're still spending. You have to pay to stay in them too. Yeah, any anywhere between forty and eighty dollars a night, even more than that, at nice RV camps. Uh, Not so a hotel room. Right. And then you're not constricted to this tiny little, this, this you know, camper or whatever, this mm -hmm. RV. You're not constricted in your area. And I wanted a gym. Right. So well, that's there's that. We're getting to that. But, <laughs> but basically, uh, and then we figured out, um, you know, how are we going to visit some of these cities? Because we're going, to, I'm going into downtown, or we're going into downtowns, and RV parks may be nowhere near it. Mm -hmm. It's a long, long drive. And then we'd have to bring another car or something because yeah. we're not going to take this camper van into downtown every time we want to go to explore. Yeah. You know, we'd have to get like a, a second car that we towed behind us to do the little errands running around. It's much better the way, this way. So we, you know, we figured that it would be actually cheaper if we kept our budget between ninety and one hundred twenty dollars a month to stay in a hotel. And uh, just ninety and one hundred twenty a month. Ninety. I'm sorry. Ninety to one hundred twenty dollars a day. <laughs> ninety to one hundred twenty dollars a day. Excuse me. Uh, we're, that's our goal. Stay there, and we ate in the rooms. We, we you know, we bring a suitcase full of food, Soup. and we bring a cooler. Yeah. Yeah. Cheap food from Walmart. Soup. We make sandwiches. Yeah. I mean, it was just every night. That's. Yeah. So we the tried. Occasional to, Arby's. We tried to keep our spending at two hundred dollars a day, and that's with gas and hotel. And then, of course, we bought the Bronco, which that gets thirty hard. miles to the gallon. That was difficult. Yeah. It gets thirty miles a gallon. So, and this is when gallon uh, gas was like two twenty a gallon. <laughs> uh, my God, we we're happy we got that Bronco when gas was hitting five, mm -hmm. and that thirty miles to the gallon instead of uh, seven or eight miles to the gallon camper. So that's the reason we decided that we're just going to stay in hotels. And plus, like she said. Uh, you know, you want a place, uh, hotels have laundry rooms, they have gyms, because we want to work out. Mm -hmm. And uh, so that's what we did. And you can, I, I don't know, it's just, you're not constricted to that one area. I don't know. Or I guess campgrounds you're not either. But still, it's a, I like the idea of being in a hotel and I can get up and walk around the hotel, you yeah. know, if I want. Now, we learned a lot about hotels. So that's <laughs> coming up next. Okay, so hotels. Now, like I just said, we uh, were going to spend or keep it to 80 or 90, something like that, to $120 a night. And yeah. as a result, we stayed in some pretty bad hotels. <laughs> and we've learned a lot, about, uh, a lot about hotels. We are hotel experts. Definitely. You just watched some of our earlier videos when we would do reviews, and you could see some of those uh, crummy hotels that we'd stay wow. in. Wow. Yeah, and like <laughs> places in Mississippi. Whoa. Yeah. Uh, Whoa. Some of the things we learned. Look at the reviews on these hotels, and if it's got a bad review, or it's let's say it's a, a one to ten rating, if it's below an eight, if it's seven point nine or below, that hotel is probably going to suck. It's uh, probably going to be dirty. Eight and ups are usually pretty good. You get nine and up, and those hotels are pretty much always awesome. Yeah. They usually cost a little bit more, yeah. but one of the first things about hotels is look at those reviews. Let, yes. them, let them guide you. One of the things we have learned about hotels uh, is that they are wildly inconsistent. Most of them. And we're yes. talking Holiday Inn, yes. Holiday Inn Express, yes. Comfort Inn, uh, even Hampton Inn. Hampton Inns are usually pretty good, but you still sometimes get a stinker. And uh, like we stayed, we stayed at really nice Holiday Inns, mm -hmm. uh, like in yes. Indianapolis. And then we stayed. Oh, at, the one in Steamboat Springs wasn't that a Holiday Inn? No, that yeah, it was a Holiday Inn in Steamboat Springs. That, that one hotel I loved. Was super nice. I loved it. And then we'll be at a we stayed at a hotel in San Antonio. It was one of the worst hotels we ever stayed in. <laughs> that was the worst Holiday Inn. I mean, when you walked we, around that hotel bare feet, you had black feet at the bottom within minutes. We took a we took a couch cushion off to to set yeah. it on the floor, and there was a dirty bra in there. Yeah. So. <laughs> And by the way, we are going to bring hotel reviews back. We've had people ask for it. But you can see some of our hotel reviews that, yeah, we weren't always always staying in real nice hotels. Now we can, we get better hotels now. We can afford them. But uh, we've had, or let's just say, we've had people, I've had people say or ask, what's your favorite hotel chains? Drury. Which is uh, where we're at right now. We're at a Drury right now. Uh, here, I'm going to show you a little uh, uh, drone footage of the Drury. Here it is right here. Um, this is our favorite Drury in the country. They're in about 26 states. But Drury's 
are not, uh, they are company owned, right? They're not, um, they're not franchised. They're not franchised. So, and they are all run exactly the same. So when you go to a jury, it doesn't matter where you go. You can go to a jury in Nashville, here in Dallas, um, Birmingham, Alabama, it doesn't matter. Missouri. Yeah, it's, uh, it's going to be nice. The food is going to taste the same. They give you food at night, two and three free drinks. That's all going to be the same. Very consistent. Right. Their pool is going to work. The hot tub is going to work. Everything's going to work. Yes. Because that's, you know, juries that's take care big. of their business. So, wow. yeah, there's yeah, two hotel, hotel chains that we highly recommend. Drury and Hilton's Home Two Suites. Yes. The Home Two Suites. We now, really like those two. Yeah. Because, you know, you, you, when you're all, you live on the road, you don't eat out at restaurants every night. You don't really want to. So we carry some food and we carry a cooler with drinks in it. And Home Two Suites are awesome because not only are they roomy, and I'm showing you a little footage now. Uh, I mean, it has a, kind of an area where the bed is. It has a, like a couch area that's a, kind of a, like a living room area. Well, they always have a little couch. And then they have a, a, pretty much a full kitchen. Well, as the name suggests or says, it's yeah. a suite. <laughs> I know, but we've been to suites that were kind of pitiful. Yeah. But these are nice. But the it kitchen has, is the best part. That's, the, right. that's yeah, what has, sets it apart. It has like an almost full-size refrigerator. Yes. They always have nice microwaves. They always have, you know, have a washing machine. They have a sink with a disposal. They come equipped with silverware, plates, toaster, cutting boards, yeah, all Yeah, so stuff. we don't have to break any of that stuff out. We actually no. carry that for other hotels, but yeah. yeah. So those are nice because they come with all of that. So when we go, you know, we're on the road, we try to stay at one of those two most of the time. And that's one of the reasons we haven't been doing reviews as much is because it's, we're staying at the same hotels. And there's some other ones that are okay. A lot of Hampton Inns are actually good. Uh, the Cody, Wyoming Hampton Inn was fantastic. But then we'll go to a crummy one, like in Altus, Oklahoma. <laughs> that Hampton Inn is is basically the level of a crummy Motel 6. Well, so, when we say um, a lot of the chains are inconsistent, what it is is... Their, their stuff is broken. I can't oh, yeah. tell you how many times the hot tub doesn't work. And we like to sit in the hot tub at night sometimes. Or an ice like, machine I mean, work. he works. he works like these super long days, a lot of days. And it, sometimes he just wants to relax in the hot tub, the two of us, when mm -hmm. he's when he's finished. And they are broken so often in these in these other chains that we spoke about, you know. Right, right. We'll book a hotel, so, you know, so and it's advertising often. has a hot tub. Like 50% of the time? Some, I half swear. the time, if it's in, except Drury and Home Two Suites. But like half the time we get to that hotel, their hot tubs are And the Holiday Inn Express, and yes. Yeah, a couple the, times been pulled. We stayed in Texarkana, and we picked out a, a hotel. had a nice outdoor pool. It was going to be hot. Big pictures of this beautiful pool they have in Texarkana at this hotel, and it was a it was a Holiday Inn. We get there, and the pool is uh, out of order. Yes, and they said so irritating. there was another hotel in that in that like right next door, and they said we could use their pool. I forget what the other hotel. It was, was. a Hampton, but it was indoor. Pool. But it was indoor. We, we wanted, wanted indoor. we specifically wanted the outdoor pool that time because it was really nice weather. Mm -hmm. And God forbid, I needed some sun. Yeah. <laughs> One of the other things that we have learned is to get credit cards with really good rewards. So oh, yes. she's heck. got her own card. She, she, she can go buy whatever she wants anytime she wants. It doesn't, you know, and then I just pay her card off every month. And she gets four points to the dollar on her, on yours. I use a Hotels.com card. Uh, I recommend Hotels.com uh, because uh, for every 10 nights you stay at a hotel and you book through Hotels.com, they give you a free one. So that's, we're already, that's 30, 30 so to 31. Often. Yeah, 30 to 31 days a month, we're already getting three free rooms uh, by doing that. Plus I have the Hotels.com credit card, and for every 500, or actually it's every $5,000 you spend, you get another room. And we're putting seven to nine, sometimes $10,000 a month on that card, especially right now. So we're getting f up to five free nights a month, isn't it? That comes six, in seven, handy. Eight, yeah, six, seven, eight hundred dollars back. Well, it comes in handy so often because a lot of times you go into these areas and the hotels are sky, like sky high, the prices, and he just, we just use it to offset that price and uh, makes it more, much more affordable. Yeah, yeah. See, you, you know, we'll build up five or six nights and then we'll go to some place like we just went to Nashville. That hotel is four hundred dollars a night. Eek. <laughs> this hotel we just did the previous video, plus thirty-six dollars a night for uh, parking. But you know, I used a couple of th a couple of nights. I used two of our two of the nights for the three nights we were there, and it dropped the price way down. Mm -hmm. So if you are even a casual traveler, like you go on vacation once a year, I still say get you one of these Hotels.com cards because yeah. pay all your bills with it. Mm -hmm. 
pay your car payment, your till, everything, just pay the card off every month, you'll get yourself two or three, four or five, maybe even more rooms over a year. And then when you go on vacation, you'll have a bunch of free rooms. Yeah. So that's what's cool about that card. Uh, so that's what we do. That's the big thing, uh, especially if you're ever to do what we're doing. Get you credit cards with big rewards, rewards that uh, specifically help you. For travelers, yes. Right, which is, you know, which is what we do. One of the other questions I, I get a lot is, what are your favorite and least favorite places? I'm not gonna say least favorite because I don't want people to get angry. <laughs> uh, you know, I don't sugarcoat a place if I don't think it's the greatest. Um, I don't do travel brochure type videos. It's not what I do. I go into downtown and if it's cool downtown, I'll let you know. But if it's not so great, I'll say, man, this downtown's not so great. I've had people with uh, angry comments. Yes. But uh, I will say, we will say some of our favorite places. I love Niagara Falls where we just went to recently. Yeah. I hadn't ever been there before and it was beautiful. It was gorgeous. Yeah, it was it was breathtaking when you're down there on the boat too. Mm -hmm. That was a lot of fun. So I really enjoyed that. Yellowstone Park was beautiful mm -hmm. again. Loved it there. Mm -hmm. I like seeing a lot of the natural, you know, mm -hmm. a lot of the parks and stuff. So those are some of my favorites. I have more, but you go ahead. Well, I was going to say, uh, you know, in terms of cities, like uh, I loved uh, Rapid City, South Dakota, because there's so much to do there. You got, um, you know, you've got Deadwood. You've got Sturgis, you've got uh, Custer uh, State Park, you've got uh, Mount Rushmore, you've got the Badlands, and it's a beautiful small city with a vibrant downtown. It's one of my favorite places. Uh, I was surprised by Steamboat Springs, and we were that was just supposed to be like a layover time. We stopped in Steamboat Springs, it was just supposed to be overnight, just to break up the drive, and we got there, we didn't. We thought it was gonna be dead because it was like summertime. Mm -hmm. And they say they're busier in the summer than they are in the winter when everybody's skiing in the winter. Mm -hmm. So um, it was a great It was a great little city. We ended up staying an extra night so we could actually yeah. go out and experience the city. And it was a great little city and it was, it was a great hotel too, so we yeah. wanted to stay. And so I really liked that little city, you know. Yeah. Uh, Springs, I, like, that was the surprising one to me. That's right. the one that snuck up on me. <laughs> uh, Tupelo, Mississippi, liked a lot. Fun little city. Key West, Florida. Oh gosh, you have to love <laughs> Key West, come on. Yeah. Uh, South Padre. Our favorite place so far is uh, South Padre Island, so in Texas, far. and we're getting ready to go so back far. there yes. before we head up along the border. And uh, I don't know, some places it may surprise you. I, I, I like Los Angeles a lot, except for the too. traffic. Oh God. The traffic is horrid. Yeah. I, I couldn't live in Los Angeles because of traffic, but I... I How you know, many miles did it take us? Two hours to drive? How took us two hours to drive, like 25 miles, yeah, across the yeah. city. Two I hours. I couldn't live like that. I really thought I really thought that Siri was lying to us. I thought she was playing mm. a cruel joke. <laughs> but I like Los Angeles. I like San Diego. Uh, I surprisingly liked Venice Beach. It was real. It mm. wasn't It wasn't no. like one of those, uh, you know, picture-perfect beaches, mm -hmm. but it... But it wasn't bad either, and it was, I don't know, it was vibrant, it was real, I liked it. Yeah. Because yeah. I've heard some not so nice things about Venice Beach, but. Well, the homeless is supposed to be really bad there, and we did, but we didn't hardly see any. We didn't any. experience that, we saw just But the reason I found out later is because we were there a couple, or about five days before the Super Bowl. Oh, did they kind of. And the Super Bowl was in Los Angeles, out? yes, so they had been it's cleared nice. out. I'm sure if we were to go to Venice Beach now, it'd be something totally different. But when we were at uh, Venice okay. Beach, it was nice. <laughs> I, you never told me that. I didn't yeah. realize that. Okay. But anyway, uh, <laughs> you know, some of the other places, like I like Boise, Idaho a lot. Uh, Salt Lake City, my old stomping grounds. <laughs> Salt Lake City was beautiful. You know, San Antonio, yeah, San Antonio's gorgeous. Uh, geez, where else, you know? <laughs> well, fun places, but we already knew this. Beale Street, Beale Street's fun. Well, Mem Memphis, yeah, and Nashville. Nashville's fun. Nashville's a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm sorry I said Beale Street, but you know what I mean. You know what I mean. So anyway, those are some of the standouts, yeah. Yeah, we had a lot of fun in downtown Nashville. Lots of places to go there. Mm -hmm. Talk about vibrant. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, um, yeah, so that's it. Uh, we are in a position where we can keep doing this probably as long as we want. So we will be doing... Only if I'll, you keep watching, though. Yeah, we will be, you know, in the next few months, we'll be going, we're going to go down to the border. We're going to go to... Uh, like Laredo and Eagle Pass and uh, really check out what's going on down there because I think if you read the news you know there's a lot of stuff happening there 
I'm going to get some drone shots along the border there and see what it actually looks like there. Just really dive into what it looks like in some of these border towns. Um, I'm really interested to see what it's like down there. Yeah, and then you know we're going to go along the Gulf Coast, Mississippi and Alabama Gulf Coasts, and explore places like Gulf, uh, Gulfport and Biloxi and Mobile, and we'll be going up into like South Carolina. We still need to do Columbia. Uh, yeah. These are just the next couple three months. Probably head up into Sacramento and and the Grand Canyon. I'm going to go. To, we're going to go to Yuma, Arizona, and check that out. That'll be a different video, huh? So now you're going the opposite way. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to be going to all those places and, uh, you know, a lot of small towns in between and small cities. Mm -hmm. So anyway, so one year has passed. We begin our second year today. No regrets. Yeah. So, yeah, selling the house was hard. And uh, for those first nine months, he kept saying, I don't know if I should have sold the house. There were times I said, man, that was a retirement vehicle. I was like, should we have sold yeah. the house? But yes, but now no regrets, right? No regrets because, uh, you know, we'll get the money back or we'll, we'll get that. We're already getting all that money back and we'll save it and we'll eventually get a house somewhere else. But right now, we're staying on the road because it's a blast. Yep. I mean, I've had people say, you're living the dream. You're living the great life. And they're right. It's just yeah. fun getting up and going somewhere every two to three or four days to a new place. It is a lot of hard work for for him because he does it all. I mean, I wish I could help sometimes, but it is a lot of hard work for it's you. It's a lot of hard work, but the reward is I get to see. Yeah. I, you yes, know, the I've been from San Diego to Seattle to Key West to Maine. We, we've been everywhere in between, and it's always exciting to see a new place. So. Yeah, it's great. It's so anyway, so there's that. A retrospective video. So we're gonna, you know, we're gonna dive into these border towns. I'm gonna check them all out closely. I'm going to walk around so you can actually see them. You probably see pictures all the time on the news of like certain spots, but I'm going to show you what they look like. And especially right along the U.S.-Mexico border there. So that's coming up next. So be looking for those videos. Yay.